Hey, what's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Happy Thursday. Good morning, having some coffee here. So, getting caught up on some stuff. My son and I, we uh, took my mother out to my sister's place in Reno. She's going to be hanging out there, helping them out with some stuff for a couple weeks, enjoying the retired life. We just got back, hit some gnarly weather going over the past. So, good to be home from that. Always good to see the family. So, Catching up on some stuff here. Uh, Mark Batson, our buddy over there, threw out a community question on your favorite build along with your favorite build that someone else did. Really cool. Enjoy that. That's a, definitely a cool concept. Great way to uh, show what you enjoy from other folks as well as yourself. So jumping right into it. My favorite build, it's kind of a toss-up. I have a 12 scale 57 Chevy that I really like, along with the 36 Ford. <clears throat> but I think all in all, the 36 Ford just, the style really kind of fits in with what you see that I talk about. We do, even though we got the Chevy behind us. Um, but it's kind of like a flipping a coin, right? So definitely the, uh, this is, now you guys have seen I'm working on and original amt one which was started for the hey auto custom group build which we're still going to knock that out hopefully as the weather gets a little better here can finish some stuff and get some good paint laid down there's the little rumble seat in the back um <clears throat> so if you guys hear me talk 36 fords along with shoebox fords some of my favorite one-to-one -one scale cars really like them uh, assuming this channel continues for a long time, you'll probably see more 36 Fords get built. You can see some of the, nothing too crazy down here. Just, you know, the basics have the plug wires, the ignition wires, <clears throat> wide interior offsets, candy apple red, really nice. This was the first time shooting the House of Colors, the base coat candies. I've been spraying urethanes for years, but um worked out really well really enjoy this build have more of these i want to build eventually with the amts so getting into my favorite builds from uh other creators right so in the sense of content creators there's a ton of channels tons of builds i enjoy throughout youtube but i would say one that i find myself you know just going to going to their channel, looking at their different builds. And it's kind of a combination, the balance of, you know, detail, um, work outside of, you know, not just being the kind of box stock clean build, but adding other details, making some modifications and cleanliness would have to be old Tom, Rambler 69. And I really like, I mean, there's a number of them. It's kind of the same thing. It's like flipping a coin. But his Moon Eyes uh, VW van, the hauler with the dragster on there. I just love that thing. I mean, one, I like Moon Eyes. You know, we see them a lot as a vendor at the one-to-one -one scale shows we're at. But it, it's just an awesome build. The work that's in that thing, the little details that are in it. So that's probably, you know, looking at content stuff that... I jump around and check out periodically or go back to would probably be that one. Um, and old Tom, I'll, I'll link his channel. I'm sure everybody knows who he is. Um, and I'll link the video to his hauler as well. But that is just an outstanding build. Now, outside of that, just a favorite build in general is probably my buddy uh, Chris Sobak with his 16th scale funny car. I mean, that thing is just phenomenal. I've got some pictures and stuff he had sent me through text messages as he was machining and building out stuff for that. Um, I mean, and that's, you know, and that's kind of where you come into the whole thing of appreciation. Uh, I've never really built a funny car. I've got some that I want to build. It will be nothing to the scale or extent of that. That's just phenomenal work right there. Um, and that's the thing you come to an appreciation where, you know, there's a lot of conversations about 3d printed parts, this and that, but you know, for anybody that knows Chris, he designs and prints 
a lot of his own stuff. Same with machining out stuff. So that to me, that's just a whole nother level of the hobby where someone is not only using the stuff, doing extremely clean work, but they're designing it, you know, in CAD and everything else and going through the, you know, failed prints and things to get just what they want compared to someone like me who will jump on to VCG resins or Iceman or, you know, somewhere and just purchase something, you know. Um, so, again, to keep this kind of short and simple, that would be, you know, those are two that are just phenomenal, you know, favorites. And there's always stuff we see. I mean, you're in this hobby long enough. There's kind of favorites that fit into something. You're, you're building the style, something similar. But, yeah, content creators, I find myself always going to old Tom's page looking at his stuff. And outside of that, just in general, Chris's work on that funny car is just, it's, it is amazing. I'll put a link to his uh, Instagram page. And I think there's a deal you can, you can check out. I don't know if it's, was it here I saw it? Yeah, there's a QR code they have there. And you can really just check out a lot of what he's done right there. But yeah, just, I mean, it is just phenomenal. I mean, I can't really see, so hopefully you're seeing the, the work in that. But yeah, Chris and I go way back. So we're kids, you know, we used to race RC cars and uh, just do other little stuff, messing around with models since we were kids. But really cool, fun stuff. So definitely an appreciation for that build along with old Tom. So Mark, thank you for uh, posting that question. Really cool. That's great. You know, good positive side showing uh, support through the community, the hobby to show appreciation to people's stuff. Tons of good stuff out there. Can't say enough how happy I am that I, you know, threw the channel up. I wish I had done it sooner. I considered it, but was nervous about this kind of being in front of the camera, putting a video together and presenting it but you know you get comfortable over time and knowing that you know this community really you develop a lot of friendship so to some extent doing these videos it, it's like if I'm on the phone there with Tom or Chris or someone talking shop you know so anyhow that's it just to summarize you know we got my 36 Ford here I'll link a video do a channel I've, or a video I've got on that as well and I've got a few other videos we'll have our throwback Thursday a video coming up probably early afternoon, late morning, and possibly a few other things. Hopefully throughout the weekend, we'll get some stuff up. So thank you guys again. Check out the page supporters. Enjoy, uh, support the community here. Some great builders, great stuff out there. And happy Thursday, guys. We'll catch you all later.